Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to first apologize for my absentness here on my channel. I have been struggling for a couple weeks I'm just with this crud. I mean, I can't even step out my front door without the pollen and my allergies just knocking me out. So although I have a lot of projects to do outdoors, I'm just trying to stay in until I can get this under control. So this is what led me to today's project. We are painting my couch and you may think that sounds absolutely crazy, but it has been done. I have been wanting a new couch for a little while. I'm just kind of over the brown and just really wanted something to um, freshen up my living room area um, but still be cozy in this space. So with all of the corona stuff going on, everything has been on back order. Prices are outrageous. So right now it's not really within the budget to be purchasing a new living room sectional. So I researched and researched and tried to come up with another way maybe I could just freshen up this couch I looked at recovering but with the recliner situation it didn't really seem like that would be the best fit so I came across a couple YouTube channels um, that had painted their couches with chalk paint and I did my research uh, found some different options and this seems to be the best option for me so we are going to test this out I really do hope that it turns out amazing I'm really wanting something new in here so I will take you guys through my whole process as I go through day to day and I chose this chalky finish tintable paint by Krylon if you're wanting to do a darker color um, the ultra deep tint base is the one that was recommended to me so this whole process starts with the water to paint ratio you want to do half water half paint and get this pretty much soupy so you can see here it's not quite ready I'm just gonna keep stirring until it looks to the right consistency that I need it to start painting my couch so apparently the trick to making this not look like a painted couch is to spray and dampen the fabric as you go so that you are avoiding that streaky look on the fabric. It actually allows the paint to absorb into the fabric more like a um, wash or a stain. I know that there are dyeing kits for fabrics, but with what I was going for on this couch, those really didn't seem to meet the need and so um, I wanted to go with a gray tone um, because I really wanted to keep those neutrals and grays flowing throughout my house since I do have an open concept home I really just wanted everything to flow really nicely and so I knew that I wanted to go with a gray but I pulled some paint swatches um, from Lowe's and we brought them into the living room and actually taped them onto the couch. And me and my husband picked out this color. And it originally looked darker with the paint swatch and um, as I was painting it on the couch, but then as it started to dry, I noticed it was a little lighter, which is totally fine. I can work with that. Um, but I know that a lot of chalky finished paints already have a set um, of selection um, colors. And if you're wanting something a little more customizable, I definitely recommend going this route. If you want something a little more lighter and brighter, you definitely want to choose the white base finish. And if you're wanting to do something a little darker like we chose here, being that we have small kids, um, you're going to want to go with that deep base finish. But just so you know, it is going to um, dry a little bit lighter than the original um, color um, if you decide to take on a big project like this. So you 
you can see here what the before and after looks like with this first coat. I'm letting this dry and then I'm going to show you that it really does not change the texture of the fabric too much just yet. I haven't really noticed any, any difference yet, but you can see it's still very um, soft and cozy feeling, but I'm just going to speed everything up so I don't have to put you through um, the long drawn out process of this but I'm going to show you through each um, round of painting what it feels like what it looks like and um, just you know give you step by step if you're um, thinking about doing this as well. Now I could not separate this chair from this corner piece on my own it just did not want to disconnect <laughs> so I wanted to not prolong this whole ordeal so I just decided to kind of pull back the seat a little bit as I went and just to get those little corners and grooves as much as I could until he could help me get home um, to separate this but um, this couch was probably a little more in depth than most couches um, that I saw in some of the videos. I have a lot of little crevices and folds. We do have multiple pieces that are recliner pieces so I wanted to make sure that I extended those out so that when I extended out the recliner you didn't see any lines or um, a difference in the color. I really wanted to make it as perfect and as natural looking as I possibly could. Like I just bought a brand new couch. So I'm gonna speed this up for you guys and just continue to show you the process. letting this second coat dry some of this is partially dry and some of it's still a little damp you can see that the color is looking more true to the color swatch that I picked and we liked this neutral gray color um, that was closer to this pillow so I think my accent pillows are really gonna look good on here I'm really getting excited I'm just gonna keep pushing forward and then I will show you um, the final step once it is done drying
Now that my last coat is finished drying, I'm going to take this fine grit sanding block and just buff it all over the fabric um, just to make sure that it's good and smooth and none of those little gritty areas are going to catch on your clothing and just overall so the couch is nice and cozy. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this if you have more of a uh, maybe antique piece of furniture that's velvet or just has more texture to the fabric you can sand between your coats and drying time and I think that allows it to be more smooth throughout your layers but since I had a microfiber couch I didn't really feel like this was going to be necessary so just one round of sanding seemed to do the job for me and make it really soft and smooth um, so I'll show you that at the very end, what it looks like overall after I'm finished sanding. But I am taking this into the night so I can avoid having a toddler trying to jump on the couch. So I still have one more recliner to finish and then we will be completely done. But so far, I am absolutely loving how this project is turning out. I couldn't be more happy. Although it's taking me a long time, I really am seeing a light at the end of the tunnel now. <laughs> Now, like I said before, because this is a more in-depth couch with a lot of different grooves, um, I wanted to really make sure that I got into those, that I didn't have those streaks. So I felt like the method that I used really worked well for this couch. So what I did was my first coat I did in one direction and then once it dried and I did the second coat I did in the opposite direction. So um, that really seemed to work well, made it not look streaky and overall just gave me a really smooth looking finish. Now I know that you can do a wax coat over the top and this is supposed to help with that but I didn't really want to do that. I didn't feel like this couch needed that. But if you find that you are having more streaks and you do decide to do this, that is an option as well. But like I said, we did not go with that option. We just did the sanding block. And I think it turned out really good. I am so happy with how this is looking, how this is feeling. And I know one question I'm probably gonna get is, does the paint transfer at all and we've sat on this couch multiple times in different type of clothing it does not do that I haven't had an issue so far and honestly I think because of the method with watering it down and allowing it to soak in you should not have that problem at all and now I'm not going to prolong this any longer I know y'all are so excited about this reveal so here it is this is the final look of my DIY painted couch. I am so excited. This is finally finished. My living room looks brand new. I cannot believe with how good this turned out. It has that smooth um, leather look to it, but it's still warm and cozy and I love it. My husband loves it. My kids love it. We are just so like in awe of how well this turned out. And I hope you guys love it just as much as I do. I hope this, this gives you some motivation or inspiration to tackle those big projects. You may surprise yourself and be totally in love with the outcome like we are. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through till the end. 
If you have any questions about today's DIY project, make sure you leave those in the comments below. I am so appreciative of you guys and so thankful for y'all being here. I hope you all have a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.